All right, in this scene, we're gonna talk about acute post-streptococcal glomerulonephritis. And it's going to be represented by this really cute post officer over here. The post office guy who's really cute. Cute post officer for acute post-streptococcal glomerulonephritis. And we're gonna remember that this is the scene on glomerulonephritis, which is basically inflammation of the glomerulus of the nephron, because in this scene, his truck crashed into this glomerulus over here and set it on fire. Now, this post officer over here is actually a kid. He's a kid. Acute post-streptococcal glomerulonephritis usually occurs in children. But anyway, in this scene, his truck crashed into the nephron and he's trying to find someone for help. So let's talk about this disease. So acute post-streptococcal glomerulonephritis is a nephritic syndrome that occurs after group A strep infection of the pharynx or the skin. And that's easy. As the name implies, it's post-streptococcal. It occurs after strep. It actually could occur after other infections as well, but it's usually after strep infection. And that's why lab values will be positive for strep titers and serologies. Now let's take a look on top of his truck over here. Here we see this tree over here. This tree is going to remind us of the hypersensitivity type 3 reaction, which is associated with the immune complex deposition. In fact, in acute post-streptococcal glomerulonephritis, there will be a decrease in complement levels of C3. That's why his three C blocks over here, representing C3, are going down into the truck, because C3 levels will be down. And this is due to the consumption, because all of the C3 is being used up for the immune complex deposition. And it's actually this immune complex deposition that leads to the histology that we see. Let's take a look. On the side of his truck over here, we conveniently see the histologic pictures of acute post-streptococcal glomerulonephritis presentation. Take a look over here at the H&E. We see the classic glomerulus that's enlarged in this condition, as well as the hypercellular glomerulus. And this inflammation over here is mediated by the immune complex deposition. Take a look at the immunofluorescence. We see the classic starry sky appearance. The granular appearance, again due to the immune complex deposition, and it actually has what's called a lumpy bumpy look to it. And this is due to the IgG, IgM, and C3. And this happens because the deposition makes its way to the sub-epithelium, then it just dissipates. So as some of the deposition dissipates, it leads to this lumpy bumpy look, and that we can see on the immunofluorescence. Electromicroscopy will also so show the sub-epithelial IC humps. And in fact, that's why we have the camels with their humps sticking out of the back of the van over here. To help us remember, the immune complex humps. Okay, finally, let's talk about symptoms. So here we see the hydrant over here that's looking at him. This hydrant actually has an eye. The hydrant for edema and the eye for the orbit. Periorbital edema is seen in acute post-streptococcal glomerulonephritis. And this is because it's the soft connective tissue around the eye that's so susceptible to the edema. We also see that his blue pants over here got black. These are not actually black pants, they're blue pants, but they got black. And that was due to the T or cola colored urine that he has. And finally, we notice the blood pressure cuff seen on top of the hydrant over here. This blood pressure cuff that's randomly floating on top of this hydrant over here is to help us remember the increase in the blood pressure or hypertension that's seen in an acute post-reptococcal glomerulonephritis. The truth is, hypertension is a characteristic that's shared by most of the nephritic syndromes. And remember, since it's one of the nephritic syndromes, we'll find protein in the urine, but there's going to be less than 3.5 milligrams per day. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this scene on acute post-streptococcal glomerulonephritis. Stay tuned for our next video and take care.